Hi guys, Paul is the best for UK here. Um, it's Saturday 6.33 and it's 31st of May 2014. Um, after opening a beer, Budweiser, cheers. I found this really cool app for the ZX Spectrum for, sorry, a cool app for Spectrum owners. Um, for, for iPhone or iPad, on my iPad right here. One sec, let me just type in my password. It's an app called TV Cam. I don't know if you can see that right there. Someone actually pointed this out to me on YouTube on one of my previous videos. So, thanks for that. I've got my um, room set out a bit better now. Um, as you can see, the Spectrum's right here. Commodore 64 is here. Screen here. I haven't got a screen for both of them, but what I can do is if I turn the Spectrum off and then go to channel 1 I've got the Commodore 64 there, so it's really simple. And just put the power back in on the Spectrum. Get it in. And um, change to AV. Um, get the Spectrum back. As you can see. So yeah, the Commodore 64 is on RF and the Spectrum's on RGB by a Scott. Right. Anyway, without further ado, let's show the video about this TV cam. Let's start it up. I'll just start it up. So basically, it takes you to your camera roll. Um, you can choose a picture, or you can take a picture by pressing the camera button. So yeah, I've got the camera on as you can see. You can take a picture of these beers. It'll ask to use a photo. You can see that. Use a photo. Now as you can see you've got a slider adjuster right here where you can adjust the colour and density of the spectrum image. So as you can see, yeah, I think that's about right. So now what you do, I'll just remove that menu off the TV. I'll bring you up closer. So it's a bit awkward to film on your own. Right. I well, can just get it a good, good shot. Yeah. I've still got that blooming sauce on now, isn't it? Yeah. That's better. So, basically, what we do, we plug the earphone socket of the iPad or the iPhone into the Type Sound pocket socket of the Spectrum. And you're going to want it in loud screens. Can you see that right? But first, I forgot something important because this is a plus three model. You're going to want it loud. See, this switches it to tape mode. Enter, OK01. Okay, screens. And then pause zero to, to prompt a key and save a drive beer because that's what it's a picture of now it's going to load the file from the iPad as a tape audio it's going to wait for you to press the key and it's going to save it to this disk here so this is a way of transferring spectrums as from your, your camera or your computer any, any photo you want so when you're ready, you press enter. And then it will wait for you to play the tape, or in my case, play the iPad. So you press the tape button. Now it's got a picture of the tape on there. You press play and it will load it in. 
as follows first play button and as you can see on the spectrum now that's just generated the spectrum audio code for the picture that I've just taken on the iPad how cool is that As you can see, it's loading in. Just about make out the beers. Gonna colour it in. And look at that. As you can see, we got the picture of the beers, and just about make out the Carlsberg. Now that's the original, and that's the Spectrum's implementation. Really cool. Press any key. If you can see this, all right. Press any key, and it will start saving it to disk. Now this this drive isn't in the best of conditions, so this might work and it might not. And the mod discs are sort of better days as well. But we'll try it. If I, if I bring up a catalog. Of the directory of the disk, you can see a lot of other stuff on here, but you can see there's beer at the top. So, just to reset it, bring up the um, beer screen. You don't need to put the anything in because it's already a default as a drive. Look at that, beautiful, and that is how you transfer real photographs or images you've downloaded from the internet into a spectrum. I'll, I'll do another one, see if I've got any more pictures to show you. I'll just change the tape. Uh, let's have a look, see if I've any pictures I've done earlier. Tell you what, I'll take a picture of the Commodore 64. Let's see if it wants to work. Hmm. Show me that again, shall we? Take a picture of the Commodore 64. It's in, you can adjust the colour intensity, like I said. Right, we're ready to go. Play the tape on the iPad. You don't have to take a picture with your iPad's camera, you can also take a picture at your gallery, anyone that you might have taken before in the past. Well, I think it's absolutely brilliant. And there we go. And if you can make that out, we can just about see the Commodore 64, and you can just about make it Spectrum Basic on this very TV. One more picture. I'll just just do one more. Do a picture of me, shall we? Ugly old me. If I can find one. Surely this one. No, have a look, see if we'll... No, yeah. Trying to find a picture of me, I'm sure that I must be one.
The only downside is the app is not free. It's six event bed 69p but 69p you can't really mind. Why not on Saturday? Oh my god. And there I am in all my 8 bit glory. That's the end of the video. Goodbye.